Now to a battle over taking out the trash as a Long Island town is cracking down on littering. New cameras are on the lookout to catch people dumping garbage. Jennifer McLogan covers Long Island. She reports penalties are going up and residents are on board. It's part of our dream. The dream for Mike and Bridget Kay of Shirley is to see a planet without litter. Off Suffolk's South Shore, those catching fish, hiking on trails, immersed in beauty, say the sites lately have been marred by this. Some of our cameras picked up the vehicle, dragging the boat. This is the boat that was dropped. Dropped with debris right into a park. Brookhaven Town Supervisor Dan Panico is launching a crackdown on littering in the town's 200 parks in preparation for what appears to be an onslaught of illegal dumping when parts of the massive town landfill begin closing in December. It will be capped in 2028. But at the end of this year, we will cease taking construction demolition debris. The town's now using video surveillance to monitor trash receptacles. They throw it into the taxpayer-funded dumpster. People dump that. They don't want to pay for it. You're destroying nature. It's horrible. Construction debris, household trash, garbage from restaurants, illegal dumping cases have doubled in the past year. The Kachabi family's fiercely protective of its parks. A place that belongs to all of us, that belong to, to families, to our children, and that shouldn't be allowed to happen. I want to be a place of quality, health, progress. Or you want to be a dump yard. And the town is boosting penalties, anywhere from $2,000 to $20,000, even jail time. 15 days to six months. We have a duty to each other. That's part of what living in a community is about. From Brookhaven Town, Jennifer McLogan, CBS News, New York.